Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that Microsoft Store not working. So the first thing I want you to do is check your C drive if you have some space. So to do that, open your file explorer, like so. It should be this one right here, and just look for your C drive. Local this C, this one right here. Right click on it, and basically click on properties. Now once you're here, you'll see the used space and the free space. So in the free space, I have 272 and use is 192. Capacity is around 500 gigabytes. So basically I have enough or adequate space left. Another way to check your space is simply click on this PC and you'll see this bar or rather um, visual aids for you. So as you can see on the local DC, I still have more than half. I think this is still enough. Now, if you're seeing red, logo here red visual aids or if you're seeing a little bit more uh, used space you need to clear things out so the thing you want to do is of course type in settings on your search bar open it up so basically this is settings right now once you're here i want you to click on system there are a lot of choices here so go for system and this is how it should look like once you're in system look for storage this one right here now you'll see this option or local dc as earlier, you saw that I have almost 272 free. And right now it's calculating all of the things that are being used. So you'll see this option that says temporary files. So if you want to click on it. And it's now scanning. It's taking, I think, a few minutes here. And as you can see, it has those downloads, those diagnostics, etc, etc. And you'll see those boxes beneath them. So if you want to delete... So for example, download files because it's taking up 4 GB. Recycle bin is taking up 8 GB. Just highlight them like so, like what I'm doing right now, and simply click on remove file. If you click on remove file, you'll clean 33 gig of your space. And trust me, 33 gig is plentiful. So simply click on remove file and you should be good to go. I'm not going to click on mine right here because I still have a lot, a lot of space left. Now, once you're done with that one, let's remove it. And next thing, for example, you're still having problems. This is the next step. I want you to type in CMD. I want you to open this command prompt and run as administrator. This one right here, okay? Now, after running as administrator, it should look like this one. It's a black screen. So basically for this one, we're going to run a specific command. First things first, WS reset.exe. Again, that's going to be WS reset.exe, like so. Simply click on it, enter, and you'll see it's automatically going to open up Microsoft Store. What it does is it clear the cache of Microsoft Store. Basically, it's reset Microsoft Store entirely. And hopefully by this step, your problem has been solved. Now, for some reason, it's still not working. For example, you're inside Microsoft Store and you try downloading, for example, WhatsApp and it's still not working. Try this next step I'm going to teach you. So basically for this one, again, open up CMD file or rather CMD command prompt. Make sure you run as admin. Now basically for this one, I want you to type in this specific command now. It's going to be FFC dash scan now. Now this will take a few seconds. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now as you can see right here, after waiting for that FFC dash scan now um, command, it should look like this one. You'll see here Windows User Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So basically, Windows has helped us to repair those corrupt files. So please try your Microsoft Store now and hopefully it's now working. Let me just escape this one and the next thing, the one just try out if for some reason still not working. I want you to type in services on this option right here and it should look like this. So this is how it should look like inside services. Now, once you're inside here, just simply type the letter W because we're going to look for specific apps here. The first application I want you to look for is Windows Update. Okay. So again, W, we're going to look for Windows Update here. It should look like this right there, Windows Update. So double click on it. So basically, once you for startup type, I want you to click on automatic. And if the service status is running, I want you to click on stop. And it's gonna remove that one and simply click on start. Easy as that. So stop and start, basically that's the idea. 
So click on apply and click on OK. That's one down. And I do want to look for is basically type W one more time. So for the next one right there, rather, I'm sorry about that, type in M. We're going to look for Microsoft Store install. So it should look like this one right here. Help me look for it. It should look like this one right here. Microsoft Store Services. Double click on this one. Same process. Automatic. If it's on stop or rather start, make it to top and then click on start one more time. We're just resetting here. So click on OK and that should be done. So please try out your Microsoft Store. And before trying out, almost forgot, reset your computer. After restarting your computer, open up your Microsoft Store and try downloading the application. Now, if for some reason it's still not working, I want you to look for your Microsoft Store first. So for example, this is your desktop, right? Type in Microsoft Store right there. Should look like this one. Right click on it. Go to application settings or app settings. And then here, you should look like this one right here. Click terminate, like so. Click on repair or reset. And click on reset one more time right there. So basically all three options there, please click on them. And basically after doing that one, restart your computer and check if Microsoft Store is still not working. Now for some reason your problem still persists, this is gonna be the last option for you guys. Firstly, uninstall Microsoft Store and basically install it. So to uninstall it successfully, type in PowerShell on the search bar. And it should look like this one. Basically, it's going to be Windows PowerShell. Now, I don't want you to simply click it by itself, but rather make sure you run it as an administrator. This is very important. This is critical, okay? So once you click on run as administrator, let me just click it right here. It should look like this one. It's going to be a blue background. Much like the one earlier, the command from its back. Now for this one, I have specific commands I want you to try with. They're going to be on my notepad. So if you want to post a video and copy them, please do so. So copy the first one and then paste it. Click on enter and then copy the second one. Paste it and click on enter. You'll see that option. And once it's done, it should be good to go. Basically, that's it. You have successfully installed Microsoft Store on your PC. Now to simply install it, just say you already um, installed it, right? Open up a browser of your choice, Microsoft Store Download. Easy as that. Just let's wait for it to finish loading. And basically on the first result, you can choose anywhere from here. Just choose the one with the Microsoft logo and simply click on download. Now basically that's it. And that's how you do or rather how to fix your Microsoft Store not properly loading or rather downloading applications. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.